All right, good evening everyone. This is Joe Henches and this is the technical analysis of the stock market January 30th, 2014. We're going to take a look at the, uh, the indices that we typically look at, a couple of the indicators, and then a couple of the stock trade rec ideas that I put out there. I actually put them out yesterday, <clears throat> last night, and I'll talk about that in just a minute. But um, first of all, the Dow Industrials. Okay. We are up, what, 109, almost 110 points today. Up a little bit higher, intraday, closed back down. So we're down about 30-some points on the week. But the main thing here, the, cre the critical thing, is that this point right here, okay? What is that, 709? And where I've got this line drawn across, what's the top right here? 721, what's the top right here? 709. Okay, so we get a close below 709. Let's say 705. I don't know, but we just get a close down in here. I think then we're on the critical. Is this line going to hold? Is the 200-day going to hold? Okay, um, and that's we're riding this Keltner channel down. We've talked about that. Um, this isn't much a divergence, honestly. It's just this. There's this could crack down out of this real easily. And then when you look at the uh, DI minus, DI plus, there's room for this DI minus to go higher, although I'll admit once you get about 45, 50, you're pretty much at the top of the move. Uh, that's just the way it works on the math on these things. Uh, doesn't mean you aren't going to get a reaction. Uh, S&P 500, similar type thing. Now the main thing on the S&P 500, we're, we're finding the same thing, and we'll talk about this on the New York Composite. Right in here, uh, the high here, 1772. What's the low here? 1772. What's the low here? 1772. We get a close below that, and we're going to break. And then, then you know, are we going to break this trend line at the same time? There's probably a good chance that we will. Then you got the 200-day. This is a 14-month trend line. Okay, so this trend line, <coughs> pardon my voice here, I'm a little bit, a little bit hoarse. Sinuses are bothering me today. Um, back to November 2012. Okay, this trend line is an even more critical trend line. This trend line is the trend line from March 2009, the entire rally of the last five years. So we break this. We're probably going to test this, and then you know you've got a couple support points in here. Uh, it'll just be one step at a time, you know, but I'm just saying it, it's um, and look how quickly it can break three days out of the blue. So that's why I'm just the New York composite is very similar type scenario here. Now, we did have a pretty, pretty high move here on this DI minus. OK, uh, whereas DI minus reading is 50. OK, the, the DI plus reading here at the peak 49. Uh, DI plus reading at the peak here, 50. Okay, so we had a peak reading in the DI minus on this down bar after three days. Uh, that doesn't mean you can't get a down move, break this, get down in here, test up, and have a divergence that then allows you to rally off of it. We're just going to have to see. That's a potential setup. Um, the NASDAQ. Similar type thing, although the NASDAQ is hanging around this 50-day moving average like we've talked about. Um, but look how quickly this went from up here all the way down to here. It would be nothing. This is, it hasn't even hugged the, hasn't even gone outside the, the lower band of the Keltner channel. It'd be nothing to get to the bottom end of this channel, okay? And, uh, you know, we've hugged the top end for so long. You know, here's the bottom end of the channel, this trend line. Uh, it'd be nothing for it to break down there. So we'll just have to uh, watch and see if those other support lines hold. Uh, the short-term trading index really isn't telling us a whole, anything new. 10-day uh, is pulled back. We're right in the middle of everything. Uh, no dramatic readings there that I can see. The, uh, the VIX uh, came up a little bit today. Well, actually, no, VIX dropped. What was this, 1735, 1729. So... Basically, almost unchanged, which uh, it's just it's hanging right in here. Um, 
you know it's broken this trend line it we'll just have to see it's again it's pretty pretty low we've talked about that i blogged about it uh the high low index we popped back above the middle of the zero so we had 29 more highs than new than lows uh, but we're potentially in a little bit of a downward trend, trend uh, channel here that we're going to need to break out of uh, to push to new highs if we're going to go. Uh, the select financial uh, ETF, I wanted to look at this because really it broke the December low, which the indices haven't broken. It broke it. Now, <clears throat> it's bounced up the last two, three days. It's bounced up a little bit. Um, don't know that it's anything super strong. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, we're getting a zigzag rally up off of the RSI. It could carry, but it could just roll right back over to just like right here, zigzag rally, and you roll over and go to a new low, okay, on the indice, on, on the ETF. So um, it's something to pay attention to. Okay, now I, I want to talk about two stocks that I put uh, as trade ideas out there. I put them on the Trade Ideas page uh, last night because uh, I look at the stocks every night. Sometimes I'll miss something, uh, but I try to catch as many as I possibly can. And if I think it's a good trade idea, I'll put it out there. Um, I hesitate to, to put it as a post on my website because when I put it as a post, then the, the folks who have signed up for email updates get another email from me, and I'm trying not to inundate people with emails, okay? So what I do is I, I will tweet that I've now updated the trade page. Uh, I might put it on my YouTube channel, uh, on, under the discussion area of the YouTube channel. But the primary way for me to do it is to tweet. So follow me on Twitter, like uh, sometimes if it's tonight, if it's appropriate, if there was a new trade idea I'd put out, I would talk to you about it right now. But the main thing I wanted to talk about is uh, Melco Crown Entertainment ADR. Okay, I talked about this as a sell. And uh, here, here's the sell signal at close, sell at 39.78. Um, and that was the close. And again, I cautioned, you know, depending on the gap, how it opens up, whatever. And this morning, the way it opened, it, it opened up slightly, and I was watching it. And so I thought, okay, the, you know, I was waiting for an entry point, and, and I got it at about 40.50. Okay, so that's the entry point on this stock at 40.50. I'm setting a stop three and a half point, 3.4 points above that. So it's at, what, um, 43.94. Something like that. I think that's it. I've got it posted on the Trade Ideas page. So here's the deal on this. We're getting divergence both on the RSI and on the DI+. Plus. So I didn't like that. And yeah, it's pulled down. But the 10 is broken below the 20. So once the 10 breaks below the 20, I'm looking for a lower close. Okay. Here, this was the day it broke below. Then we got a higher close. Then we got the lower close. That was the signal I was waiting for. Now, it's popped up a little bit. We'll wait to see. I think this has got a good chance of rolling over. It's broken a trend line. I think this has been fifth waves up, five waves up. So that was the thinking on this stock. And it's almost doing a little bit of a, a bear flag or bear pennant kind of thing. Uh, the, other, the other one I wanted to talk about, which is in the opposite direction, is Solar City. Uh, and I think we've got an upside move here. Uh, I said buy at the open in the range between this close and this close, and it opened at 73.80, and you know that's the entry point, 73.80 today. That's what I've got marked on the Trade Ideas page. It was up pretty good. I think it's got a chance to run. I think it could go all the way up into here. I think it can go higher, actually. I think it could go up here to 90 minimum, and I think it might even have a chance to go higher than that. So we'll see. I think this is uh, wave one, two, and three of a new five-way move. And in that move, we're in one, two, three, four, I think the fifth move. So that's the scenario behind Solar City. I'll talk about it more on the weekend when we talk about trade ideas. That's it for tonight. Thanks for stopping by. We will talk to you on the weekend. Have a great Friday. This has been Joe for Beyond the Chart.